Hey everyone, this is Meredith White with the National Weather Service in Memphis. Hopefully you guys have been able to check out our uh, weather experiment video that we posted yesterday. We have a couple more that we want to share with you, including this one today, which is called How Do Thunderstorms Form? What you're going to need for this experiment, um, you will need a plastic um, container, kind of like this one. We're also going to be using food coloring. For this experiment, we'll need blue and red. You'll need an ice cube tray to make some ice. And then you'll also need some room temperature water. Um, I'll express the importance of this later, but make sure it's room temperature. We don't want anything too cold or too hot. Let's get started. So this experiment is kind of done in two parts. First, you'll take your ice cube tray, you'll fill it with water, and then you will add one drop of the blue food coloring to each section um, in your ice cube tray. You'll stick it in the freezer, wait a little bit until you get your ice cubes, and then you can kind of pick up the experiment from that point. So at this point, you should have your blue ice cubes here. And next, you want to fill your clear container with near room temperature water. And we're going to be using um, water that's not too warm just because we're using dye and we don't want the two dyes that we're going to be using for the experiment to mix and blend. We want to see what happens later on in the experiment. So now I'm going to ask my fellow co-worker, Samantha Wright, to come and assist me with this next portion. So what I'm going to do, you may want to have two people um, help you out with this experiment. Have two people um, do these next two things. So we're going to take a couple of the blue ice cubes and um, place them on one side of the clear container, while at the same time Sam is going to drop two to three drops of this red um, food coloring on the other side and we're going to see what happens. So the clear container represents a stable atmosphere. And then as we see what happens now, we see the red food coloring represents a warm air mass. Thunderstorms require an unstable atmosphere, moisture, and a lifting mechanism. In this case, that's going to be the cold front represented by the blue food coloring. The warm air is forced to rise over the colder air. In this scenario, the lift, again, the forcing mechanism is the cold front, the blue food coloring. Within thunderstorms, this visual, visualized represents the formation of an updraft. Warm air rises, condenses, and releases latent heat, and the heat helps to further fuel the thunderstorms.